welcome to this week's vlog. And in this week's vlog, <laughs> me and Mentor Mama came up to Door County, Wisconsin for a few days to get away, to relax, to rest. Mm -hmm. We're also working. I'm doing online <laughs> school. She's doing working full time. We haven't experienced the rest yet. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, we haven't experienced the rest yet. But I'm just going to put a compilation of our vlogs in here, of our time here. So it's probably going to be a few different days, um, but just the fun things that we did. Um, today we are going to a coffee shop. We already got a ton of work done this morning. We're going to go to a coffee shop right now and enjoy some time together. Is it a mistake that I want to wear my moccasins outside? What do you guys think? Ooh, it's snowy. Comment down below if you live somewhere where there's snow or if you live somewhere where there is no snow. I'm always curious about where you guys live. If you don't have to deal with snow, you should be thankful. But I must admit it is beyond beautiful. Like I love snow so much and I probably wouldn't trade it. So, here we go. just spent some time in the coffee shop. I actually got done a whole paper, which was really nice. Like a whole paper, I cranked it out. What did you get done? I have been working on trying to get our prayer journal and prayer binder on Amazon. Yep, so we're trying to get our prayer journal and our prayer binder on Amazon so that it will be more accessible to you guys. Um, right now, I actually asked my mom to start driving around to random places around Door County because I want to keep my eyes peeled for different things I want to paint. And I've been watching a new artist recently. I'll have her linked in the description. But pretty much, she has been inspiring me so much to That's like... Cute. Oh my gosh, that... Okay, thing. yeah, go back. Okay, yeah, she's been inspiring me to paint, to be free with my paintings, to, um, yeah, I'm getting really distracted because of how cute this is. Hold on. The yellow door is so cute. Oh, oh my gosh. Do you guys see this beautiful house? Wait, I was talking about whatever that thing is. Oh, no, I'm I, talking about this house. Yeah, do that too. Look what? How cute that is. What, the little barn? Oh my goodness, she's crazy. I guess I should put my flashers on. Did you get it? Yes. Johnny wants me to call him. Wait, Johnny! Say hi to the vlog! Are you vlogging? Right now, I just turned it on. Say hi, okay? Hi. <laughs> Did you hear that? I'm taking out the trash. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're nuts. <laughs> I look like Santa Claus with this thing on my shoulder. I know you guys can't see this, but these trees are actually super yellow and beautiful. We're looking for beauty in the ordinary, people. I just found something beautiful. I just found something beautiful. What? It's right in front of the camera. Ha! <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm back home. Me and my mom just went out. We got a few shots of um, just some nice wintry scenes. Um, it is super snowy here. I'll show you guys what the view looks like. So all snow out there. The lake is frozen. And I think what I'm gonna do, I've been just you know doing some random artworks here. This is another one I did. 
is my sketchbook. So <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a series of paintings for this winter scene just for fun. Nothing like crazy or um, just like super detailed, but something that will just be fun to do. So I'm going to grab some paper and get some of those shots I took of the winter wonderland and start some painting. So here's my little paint set up. We got these acrylics. My mom just got me these for Christmas and I really like how they're, um, how they turned out. I'm, I don't use acrylic much, so I don't even know if this is like a brand that most artists use. I'm not sure, but for me, it's great. Um, got my brushes. Um, these are just like some of my sketchbooks, um, a previous work I did. And then I have this, um, easel. And right now I'm going to be just doing small work. So I have this square, um, watercolor paper pad. And then I have this other more smaller, like rectangular pad. Um, and so then I'm going to be using these watercolors, which are amazing. I got these for Christmas this year. Let me open them. And I personally think that they are like phenomenal watercolors. Um, I was using the Arteza watercolors for a long time. Um, and I would recommend these as well. They, they did great for the time that I had them. I'm going to be using these today. Let me look at some of the pictures I got. That's my next step here is I'm going to um, pick out some of the photos that I took from the Winter Wonderland today. A little series. Also, can we just take a moment? What's on my camera roll? Yikes. Okay. So I definitely want to use one of these yellow houses. Like, that's beautiful. Trees. House in the distance there. Farm. More trees. Okay, so I'm going to pick out a few. beyond beautiful. Look at the sky. Isn't it so beautiful, you guys? I'm just listening to some classical music right now. I'll show you guys what it looks like out here, the back. Look at those beautiful trees with the snow on them. That's so pretty. Wow. I love winter wonderlands. Okay, yesterday I was breaking out Christmas music because it was snowing. I'm gonna grab my, currently using this Bible just all the time. It's my quiet time Bible. I'll have it linked in the description. Um, and then I've been using this journal. I'll also try to link this. I use this journal in the mornings, which has been really great. 
And then at night, I've been using this journal for prayers and meditations. It's really big. I love how big it is. Um, but yeah, I've just been meditating on scripture in here every night. Which has been really nice. So there you have it. And this is my easy Spanish step-by-step. Yes, you guys, I'm still trying to learn Spanish. It is going extremely slow. Um, I really just need a tutor, I've realized. So, for the Spanish thing, I kind of realized that, I mean, I'm making progress little by little. Hold on one sec. I feel like I should turn on this classical before we get copyrighted. Okay, so as far as the Spanish thing goes, um, for those of you, you might remember from like my past vlogs that I was trying to learn Spanish. I still am. It's just going way slower than I expected. I've n actually never learned a language before. So, um, yeah, there's a lot. I'm like, wow, <laughs> it's not easy. But, um, wow, the clouds look so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Um, anyways, so... There's just so much and like I've studied a lot into it on like how to learn a language like you need to be consistent, you need to immerse yourself, you need to listen to movies, to music, you need to know the grammar but you also need to know the practical side of like actually using it and talking and speaking and things like that. So it's been a lot, it's been a lot because I'm full-time student right now. I have coffee and Bible time, which can be a full-time job, wedding planning. Just those three things are a lot in my life. But I try, definitely try to add in the Spanish here and there when I'm driving or when I'm, you know, cooking or anything like that. And then I think later on, once I graduate from college soon, I'll really be able to just dive into the Spanish practice. But for now, little by little. I need to show you guys the clouds. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, that is beautiful. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, I feel like I'm in a movie right now, you guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. You can see this is the lake and it's all frozen over. It's beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing my quiet time right here by the fireplace. I got my cozy little blanket, fire, and then I've also got, this is the Coffee and Bible Time pencil pouch. I love it, it fits so much in it. So I would highly encourage you to check this out. Um, yeah, I'm going to do some of my scripture reading today. Oh gosh. Ah! Today we are in Isaiah. I'll show you guys what that's been looking like as well. Okay. So, this is what Isaiah has been looking like. I've been studying it through one of my classes at Moody. Along with just personally going through it with the Lord. Definitely a very hard book to understand and to grasp. And I would highly encourage if you're reading through this to get a commentary to go through it with you. Or else it's just, it's speaking a different foreign language, honestly. That we can understand. We just have to learn and study and, um, you know, have someone help us. And I think that's totally okay to do. So that's where we're at. Right now I'm on, let's see, I just finished chapter 15 and 16 yesterday. Now I'm on chapter 17. Hello party people. Okay, so I, <clears throat> whoa, I finished my quiet time. And now me and my mom are actually gonna go head out to a coffee shop right now because our, actually, our favorite coffee shop that we always go to here, you guys probably see it all the time. It's called Kick Gash. Um, but, <clears throat> gosh, I'm so sorry. Anyways, um, what I was going to say was 
Our Wi-Fi here is just not working at all. My mom needs it for work. I need it for school and for work. So what I'm doing right now is just packing up my things that are scattered all throughout the house. Um, and I'm going to pack these up to go to the coffee shop today. I'm gonna get some school work done. Um, and hopefully some work as well. So I'm going to bring, these are my, um, syllabi. I'm gonna bring those. I'm gonna bring my iPad. Pencil pouch. Laptop, I'm gonna need you. So yesterday I was working with just being free with my artwork and not trying to make it look perfect or anything like that, but just kind of like having fun, experimenting, experimenting with acrylics, experimenting with different mediums. So the goal of it was not to have these perfect artworks, but um, I will show you what they kind of turned out like. So there's this one I did in watercolor cute little house. Actually, I'll insert the picture here. I took a picture of it yesterday to get some inspiration. I did this really quick. The goal wasn't to have it look perfect or anything, but also you probably hear me saying perfect a lot. I'm working on trying to take that word out of my vocabulary. And then, okay. So these, I actually do not love how these all turned out. This was like my first very rough painting. And then I did one in watercolor and I did one in acrylic. So not loving those, but um, I really appreciate what Sandy said. She's the artist that I was referencing this video, but she said all the bad artwork ends up contributing to the good artwork in the end. So every like bad piece you do or piece of artwork that you don't love it's actually not a waste because it will eventually go into that good piece of artwork you create one day. So me working on acrylics for my first time, like I haven't done much in acrylics, you guys. It's hard. It's hard to start a new medium. So that's what we got there. Yes. I also don't know if I showed you guys this one. I actually really enjoyed how this one turned out in my sketchbook. I don't know. It's just like when I look at it, I feel super at peace. So I also created that. So that's what we got for artwork going on this week. my hair turned out. Curly hair days. Okay guys, again we got a fresh snow. Look at how beautiful. I'm gonna go clear off the car and I'm gonna put on my snow boots. Aren't they cute? I look like this. Ready? Look at how beautiful the driveway looks. So clean. Oh, you guys. I wish you could be here, it's so beautiful. Currently scraping off the car with a rag because we don't have a car scraper. I got this. And my hands are freezing because I'm not wearing gloves. 
That's the reality of it, folks. <laughs> we are already packing up. I forgot to vlog here, but let me show you what I got done. Finished reading my assignment for this, You Are What You Love. It's a very like intense book, but makes me think a lot. So I'd recommend it to those of you who are mini theologians and want a tough read. Getting through my assignments. I highlight when I get an assignment done. I got a paper done today and some reading. We're packing up and going home. Back out to this winter wonderland. What are we doing now? We're going to Bargains Unlimited. This is actually Taylor and I's favorite thrift shop in Door County, but I'm dragging Ashley along since it's just me and her. Sorry, Taylor, you're missing out. Let's do this. Oh, wait, why are the two When you have 10 <laughs> bags within your big bag. <laughs> you watch our, uh, if you watch our vlog channel, then you know that we come up to Door County, Wisconsin a ton. Um, and when we're here, we like to go to this thrift store, which you wouldn't think you would find like cute things here because a lot of the population here is older. No offense. But we actually always find really, really good things. So let's see what we find today. I'm loving this sweater. It has these like cute um just like dainty little buttons and i mean obviously i wouldn't wear it with this outfit but look at the sleeves they're so cute oh my gosh you guys it is so adorable loving that okay you guys I just tried on this it's a little cardigan it is so so soft um Looks like this in the back. It reminds me of just like a very artistic like cardigan, but just like super comfy. And I really like it. Okay, guys. Here is the next cardigan. I've been trying on a ton of cardigans. But just like this green. Um, it's more like a sweater, I would say. It's like this green... Um, knit cardigan with these cute little buttons it's really cute it's gonna be hard for me to decide what i like what i want to get i think it's really cute hey everyone we're back from the thrift store i'll show you what i ended up getting so this is the sweater that i tried on in the um dressing room that you guys saw oh no i already showed them in the dressing room i tried it on so it's just like this cute little white sweater with the bigger sleeves. I thought it was super cute. This was the only clothing item I got because I'm trying to not buy a million things. Um, and then I actually got three art books from the thrift store, which I think will be super, super, super inspiring just to continue learning how to paint. The Monet book, which Monet has always inspired me as an artist. I think he's inspired millions. His work is absolutely phenomenal. And then I got this one, Living With Art. So I think this will be really good. It just has a, a range of art from so many different cultures and times. So I got that. And then I got this one, Paul Goggin. I've actually never heard of him. Um, some of his art I wasn't the biggest fan of, but, um, some of it I did like the colors of it. So, let me try to find one with, like, colors. Like, I just love the bright, brighter colors of his work. I don't know anything about him, so I'm not sure. I need to, like, research more, but, um, I just was enjoying just, like, these lighter oils. So, those are what I got and these were each only one dollar at the thrift store I'm inspired to do some painting now so I might crank out a piece got my coffee which will be so nice
But yeah, we'll see what happens. So I'm about to close out the vlog here because I know it's already really long, but I don't know if I showed you the rest of my paintings. I will show you now. Um, again, I was just practicing and I actually really like how this one turned out. This is the one I did yesterday. Um, but I think overall my two favorites from this weekend are these two. And they are pictures that I actually got in Door County driving around and then I just decided to come back and paint them. So that is how that turned out. Um, but I wanted to show you what I'm doing right now. I'm actually working on the in-depth Bible study. Look how crazy my space is. Um, so we're working on this right now. I'm so, 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 so excited. I don't know if it will be live by the time you watch this video. If not, stay tuned. I'm just beyond excited to show you guys this in-depth Bible study. Um, if it is out and if you guys did do it, comment down below what you thought about it. Um, if you did it and if you joined me, there's a beautiful PDF that goes along with it that I'm so excited about. Go check out that PDF as well. Help support us. I love you so much, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you very soon. See ya.